hello team and welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to start with uh, day 12 of python for devops where we are going to cover uh, interacting with a uh, uh, postgres sql okay so i'll show you how to connect to postgres sql using python commands and how you can execute different uh, sql queries through that okay so before we start the video i would request you please subscribe to the channel we are very close to 15000 subscribers and as you know i upload videos on daily basis okay so yeah uh, also team like uh, this is the repository for python for devops which contains complete documentation which you definitely want to browse through okay one more thing team so uh, this is my uh, github account and it has almost uh, 30 plus uh, full stack projects which you can practice with if you want to and they are completely tested and verified i have done that myself so yeah you can make sure to follow me on uh, github so that whenever i upload any new projects or uh, or any new code you can just get notified and you can use that okay also team uh, i have this telegram channel uh, which is completely open many to many that means anyone can send messages so if you are having any issues queries or doubts you can just put here me my team members or any other member of the group will surely help you as you can see people face issues and we try to help them so yeah if you are interested definitely join this if you want to directly connect to me for any guidance or anything if you want to directly connect to me you can just follow me on instagram and you can ping me there i am available there okay so team yeah let's get started with that so as discussed today is day 12 of our python for devops if i scroll down let us see the details so yeah this is the topic that we are going to cover connecting to postgres sql interacting with postgres sql uh, databases using python okay so this is what we are going to cover today okay so first thing that i need to do is have postgres uh, um, uh, tool or application installed on my windows machine you can install it on your uh, linux machine also but since uh, it is available for windows so i'm gonna go with that so you can go to the official uh, website of postgres sql and click on download for windows if i go back uh, let's wait a second yeah so this is the official page and you can see it is uh, available for download for any kind of OS, right? So we are going with uh, we are going to go with Windows and we are going to install uh, the installer. Once you click on it, it will ask you the version that you want to install, right? And based on the uh, based on the uh, uh, like uh, uh, Windows or Linux whatever you are having, you can download it. Okay. So for me, I have actually downloaded this. Uh, yeah this one also team the prerequisite for installing a postgres sql is having jdk installed on your system so i have installed jdk 17 make sure you also install that okay so for installing postgres sql i'm just gonna double click on it and it will ask to run right so let's wait for it to get started once it does then we can configure it okay click on next next Mm, it's not very hard uh, simply we need to just click on next next mostly and it will install the application yes okay so let's wait for it to complete also team as you can see here uh, windows 86 uh, 32 bit is not supported so please to uh, if you want to use on that machine like if you are having older laptop go you need to go with the older version of postgres sql because the newer version for example i am going with 16 so it is actually it won't be supported on the older laptops okay okay team let's wait for a few more seconds it's uh, almost completed i guess also team big thanks to those people who are following this uh, 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 tutorials because you can see it's very important and at least you are learning simple uh, python in the simple ways python for devops okay so once we cover this part uh, i guess in few uh, maybe next week we'll be starting with the actual devops tools with python where i'll be showing you how to build and deploy python based applications also so yeah i make sure to uh, do not miss that okay Okay, I guess uh, it's completed. Click on finish. Okay, let me just check.
okay so postgres sql 16 is installed okay team so once it is done now next what we need to do is uh, get started with writing uh, the python uh, a code for accessing our uh, postgres sql and working with it okay and that is the most important part so let me show you how we will be doing that okay team also one more thing uh one second yeah so if, uh, if you are installing Python, uh, Postgres SQL for the first time, it will ask you to select which one you want to, uh, the application you want to install. Okay, I would suggest do not go for, for multiple. Just go for like anyone, like for example, web development, select just one package and install it. Okay, do not go for all of them because it will take a lot of time. Just go, as you, because you need to select at least one. So go for web development, that will be useful. Okay, now let me show you how we are going to connect to the Postgres SQL. Okay team, so now let us start by <coughs> connecting to first of all uh, the Postgres, okay? So for that what we need to do, we have first of all we are going to use this uh, Psycho PG2 to uh, like uh, perform whatever actions we want to do, okay? So this is the command that we are going to execute for uh, connecting to uh, Postgres SQL, okay? So let me explain you and we need to edit it also. First of all you can see we are using uh psycho pg2 right so we need to install this package pip install psycho pg2 okay and it has installed right next what we need to do is provide the details of our database username password and all those things okay so let me tell you like when you are setting up postgres sql it will ask you to provide uh, these details like password, host and port. So by default, a default database gets created whose name is Postgres. So first we are going to provide that username also by default it will be Postgres which we are not going to change password. So password in my case I have put Aditya. You can also put anything you want. Okay. This, this is done while setting up the uh, Postgres SQL thing. Okay. Host. So since it is on the same machine where I am executing the Python command, so it is going to be localhost port. So this also it will ask you to provide. So by default, make sure you put 5432. This is the default port for Postgres SQL. Okay. Now we are creating a function, a connect function inside which we have this parameters passed and this parameters contains the details of our Postgres SQL database. Okay. Then we are creating a cursor object okay basically this cursor object is going to be the one using which we are going to execute the sql queries okay so first of all let me save this and execute this okay uh, we did not print anything but the connection has been established okay next thing what we need to do is first of all create a database with which we are going to work also do not worry team this command will be available to you and you can see this section here we are going to provide the commands to execute now we have created this cursor object right see we are so here using it we are going to execute the commands the format will be simple cut dot execute execute is a function that is inside which we are going to pass the uh, commands as parameters okay so here what we are providing create database and the name of database okay so let us provide a name as database one okay what, uh, what it, it's going to do is create this database one okay next command is we can view the databases that is also a good option so in case we have uh, we want to see how many databases are created or uh, pre-existing ones so that we can see right and here let us create uh, two three database so we can see those details database one database two and database three we are going to create okay so three database we are creating and this command again we are using the cursor object execute function this is you need to remember this part okay cur dot execute because inside execute only we are going to provide all the uh, sql commands okay then we have another uh, function fetch all it's basically fetches the details okay fetch the information that we want okay so yeah here we are printing also database so by default i guess this is what going to happen it's going to print the 
like uh, default postgres is available postgres then we have three more databases created so it's going to print that okay so let me save this okay and before executing it uh, let us add other other things also so next thing what i want to do is uh, create a table okay and we are uh, create a table inside a database okay so you know like when i execute this command right here it is going to be executed inside this postgres database because we are connecting to postgres by default right but we, i don't want to create there so for now i will save this and execute this only okay so a transaction block some error is there so let us fix it okay so uh, the error that we got is like we are running the commands inside the transaction block so basically transaction block it's uh, something what it does it wraps everything together in a group then executes it okay by default this this library that we are using uh, psycho pg2 so uh, by default it will do that so we need to make sure that uh, we are not executing all the commands in a transaction block for that what we can do use this small command which is connection dot auto commit equal to true okay whatever changes we uh, we like uh, uh, do it will be automatically committed okay committed means like changes are uh, saved so let us try to execute it again and let's see what happens okay great now here you see see uh, push uh, database we are able to view okay and yeah this is the command uh, this is the part where we are fetching the details and we are printing it okay so first time what we are doing is printing how many databases we have so you can see this is the default one okay along with postgres there are two other default uh, databases template 0 and template 1 after that three database that we just created database 1 2 and 3 so, okay team so this part we have done like creating database and then uh, viewing all the database right next thing what we can do is create a table insert some data inside it and then view those data right so what i will do i will comment all those things okay next we can provide the commands to uh, create a table and database okay sorry and the uh, push uh, inside the table okay so this is simple command that we have set up again as a tool cur dot execute execute is a function that is going to execute whatever commands we provide right so here we need to provide a table name in my case i'm gonna provide table name as table one okay and the values inside table will be an id a name and an agent right okay next what we can do is insert some data inside it okay so i can execute this command which is also similar to first one cur.execute then these are the sql commands okay simple sql command insert into my table see why we have not written id here because id will be increased like id details of the id will be added by automatically because it's an id so it will be increased one by one one two three like that okay so we are pushing inside only name and age here we are pushing name as john doe and age as 30 okay so this command will insert inside the uh, uh, table okay one thing that you need to remember that we are inside the postgres uh, database okay okay team so now what we are going to do once we have created our database next thing is that we can create a table and put uh, push some value inside it okay so look here and that we are connected to postgres sql uh, sorry postgres database right so whatever command we execute it will be executed inside postgres database if you want to execute inside this database you need to put that here you need to connect to that specific database correct okay so first command again you need to remember this cur.execute inside it we are running command to create a table create table my table this is the table that we are creating which will be having information about id name and age okay so once we have pushed the details inside the table next thing what we can do is run the command to view the tables right and final command that we can run is to ex execute the command to see the uh, data inside the table uh, inside table name we need to provide here which is going to be my underscore table right so this is fine just let us save this file and let us execute it okay so you are able to see in the screen here uh, it is showing us how many tables we are having table one my table and table two this is the table that i just created now rest i have created before 
and details also we have uh, printed uh, which exist inside my table right which is uh, id is 1 name is john doe and age is 30 so in this way you can use python to connect to a table more details will be covering in next session this session was mainly about how we can cre uh, like create a database and connect to it right if you want to connect to let's say if you want to do the same thing inside database another database right we can just put database one so this the, this database is already created right so we can connect it and now if i execute this command so they are executed inside database one right if i save this and let us execute see again it is able to do it but this details that you are seeing now they are printing or they are create done inside the database one okay so this command that you need to remember basically this is the main thing till here to here is going to create the connection of the database and that's what this session is about to how we can connect to a database okay so yeah team now i hope you understood like how we can connect to database but more detailed uh, like different commands sql queries we are going to learn in the next session how we can do that or okay so thanks for watching and have a nice day team